I feel it's very true. I mean, more than true. I feel it's very accurate to the spirit of the book. I spoke to the producer of The Four Weddings and a Funeral, and I said, I've just read the most fantastic book, which would make such a great film. And he said, what is it? I said, the English patient. Ah, oh, being done. <laughs> I just fell so madly in love with this character, with Catherine. Um, and through Catherine, so in love with El Marshi that it just, it just seemed so, you know, just had to do it. I really had to do it. I've never felt strongly like her, like that before. Never, 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 not to that degree. And I wrote to Anthony and persuaded him to meet me and all this sort of thing. And I knew I was up against some pretty stiff competition, but I just thought I've just got to give, I've just got to do all the things that I never normally do and, and um, humiliate myself and, and get the part. <laughs> Delay them coming in, yeah. so so I can open the door for those sure. that and come round and they can. Yeah. Let Rafe open the door, then you come in. Okay. See there, she only has one small bag. Then you come around and meet Rafe. Time it so you get the bag here. Okay. Okay. Once more. Understand that? It's completely different from the beginning and the end, right? Okay. So the beginning, like saw camel, yeah, da, 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 and then friendly, and then and then. An emotional scene with Ray Fiennes and Kristen Scott Thomas exchanging a few words involves a complicated crane shot that takes an entire morning to shoot. You not come in? No. Please come in. Mrs. Clifton. Don't. I believe you still have my book. She's adept at putting on this uniform, which it is. But I think Amas is, um, he's, a, he, he's a lover of the desert. I think he loves things that they're most reduced to, that they're most primitive. And I think, well, Catherine accuses him, his behavior of being predatory. And I think he has a, he is a predator. And I think, I think of him in many ways. I have image of a bird of prey in my head for much of the time and I think uh, these aren't his real feathers if you like What's your energy? I'm sorry, what? After the market, you followed me to the hotel. I was concerned. A woman in that part of Cairo, a European woman, I felt obliged to. You felt obliged to? As the wife of one of our party. So why follow me? Escort me, by all means, but follow me is predatory, isn't it? Yes, I think he's made himself a bit of an outsider. I mean, I think he, he's quite at ease in moving among these kind of people, this Cairo, Cairo set. I imagine he's someone who always wants to get back to the desert, to get out, to get away. It's the journey he goes on in the, in the role, in the, in the story, from being a loner, suddenly having to, and someone who probably doesn't extend himself emotionally much to other people, suddenly finds that, that, that his, that his um, 
in the presence of Catherine, who's a married woman, that he he's having to reveal, or, or almost against his wishes, is, expo is exposing another part of himself, emotionally and physically.